pa stock rights. So, ganito ang nangyayari kapag stock rights. So, let's say, gamit tayo ng extra, extra paper to explain yung tinatawag na stock right. Okay, let's say, ito si corporation. Then, ito yung public. Public meaning yung mga uh, non-shareholder or mga potential shareholders ni corporation. So, let's say, si corporation, meron siyang bagong uh, mga shares. O, new shares. Ayan. Ngayon, bago to i-offer kay public yung mga new shares, yung mga existing shareholder ni corporation, yung mga existing na shareholder ni corporation, meron silang legal right na mag-subscribe dun sa mga bagong shares ni corporation. Meron silang legal right to subscribe bago i-offer ni corporation yung mga new shares na to sa public and yung legal right na yun, yun yung tinatawag na stock right. Okay, to record October 31 transaction, uh, transaction stock rights. So, ang record dyan ay memo entry. Receive, so nalagay lang natin dito yung memo entry for the October 31 transaction. Receive. Um, ilang rights receive kung ilan yung rights so ito ay plastic company ang shares kay plastic company is 60,000 shares na so meron siyang 60,000 rights ang stock right is inherent sa bawat share ang kada isang share kada isang share equals one right so si plastic uh, so yung company uh, meron na siyang 60,000 shares of plastic. Since 60,000 yan, meron din siyang 60,000 rights or stock rights to subscribe one new share. Kokopihin lang natin to For every 10 rights. So, meaning, may 60,000 rights si company. And, pag in-exercise niya yan, sa kada 10 rights, meron siyang 1 share. Tendered at 20. 20 pesos. Or, a total of ilang shares ang pwede niyang masubscribe for every 10 rights isang share so kung may 60,000 siya meron siyang 6,000 new shares of plastic company ayan so nagawa na natin yung memo entry for the October 31 transaction Next, November 15, exercise the plastic company, plastic company stock rights. So, November 15, in-exercise na ang rights. Ginamit niya na yung 60,000 rights. Na for every 10 rights, meron siyang share at 20 pesos or a total of 6,000. 6, 6,000 rights divided by 10 rights per share equals 6,000. So, nangyari nung November 15, in-exercise niya yung stock rights. So, since na in-exercise na yung stock rights, magkakaroon siya ng additional investment. Investment in equity securities plastic company. Credit cash at what amount? 6,000 times 20 pesos. 6,000 times 20 pesos equals 120,000 pesos. Okay, so nagkaroon na naman ng movement yung ating investment in equity securities account dahil sa pag-exercise ng stock rights. So, nagdagdagan siya ng 120,000 uh, shares of plastic sa cost and 6,000 in terms of shares. Okay, so i-update natin siya dito. So, magdadagdag tayo dito ng plastic. Meron na siyang 60,000 existing plus the 6,000 
na galing sa stock sa pag-exercise ng stock rights and yung kanyang corresponding cost is 120,000 so multiply siya ng 20 kasi yun yung price na nakalagay dun sa memo entry so 120 so after exercising stock rights ang total investment na kay plastic company is 66,000 sa number of shares and sa, sa cost is 780,000 pesos then meron na tayo ditong king plastic at reflect din natin yung isa pang um, company yung Makati eto ilalagay na rin siya dito hindi lang siya nailagay dun sa uh, dun sa unang part ng video so 10,000 times 50 50,000 uh, may correction dito it should be 500 500,000 ayan may correction tayo dun sa journal entry ng August 1 so lagay na natin we have Makati ok ginagawa natin itong summary na to dahil ito yung magiging basis natin sa magiging sagot natin dun sa requirement uh, letter B, yung pagdawa ng summary of permanent investments. Kaya gumagawa tayo ng ito. Makati 10,000 shares at 500,000 total cost. Okay, next transaction. December 1. Receive a cash dividend of 5 pesos per share from plastic company. So, journal entry to record. December 1 transaction. Pwede na lang. December 1. December 1. Debit. Debit cash for dahil yan ay cash dividend 5 pesos. 5 pesos times the number of shares ni Plastic. Kano inilabang shares ang meron kay Plastic Company. So, Plastic 66 na siya. So, 5 pesos times 66,000 shares. Yan yan. 66,000 na kasi yung hawak ni company na shares of stock ni Plastic. So, meron na siyang 5 pesos sa kada share. 66,000 times 5 pesos equals 330,000 pesos. Credit dividend income uh, 330,000 pesos. Okay, next transaction, December 15. Sold 10,000 shares of plastic company at 30 pesos per share. Use FIPO approach. So, sa December 15 transaction, nagkaroon ng uh, sale of investment. Okay. Sold 10,000 shares at 30 pesos. So, debit cash. So, assuming na yan ay sale for cash. 10,000 shares times... Uh, 30 pesos 30 that is 300,000 credit investment in equity securities plastic dahil plastic shares or plastic company shares ang binenta at what amount okay ang amount would be 10,000 shares 10,000 shares times eto what would be the cost the selling price is 30, so yung cost is hindi natin alam. Ang sabi, FIFO approach. Ito, malinaw na sinabi. FIFO approach. Gagamitin natin ang FIFO approach para ma-determine natin yung cost per share. Okay, balikan natin yung summary. Ayan. So, meron ng movement ng shares of plastic. Hindi yung 60,000 at 660. Therefore, ang cost per share is 11 per share 11 pesos per share that would be the cost then, eto 6,000 6, na na-receive from stock rights and corresponding cost nya is 120 therefore 20 pesos ang cost nya per share so dalawa yung breakdown ng 66 so 60,000 at 11 per share and 6,000 at 20 per share ok, 5-4 so, 5 po, una, first in, first out. So, dito ko kunin muna yung 10,000 sa 60, which cost 11 pesos, 660 divided by 60. Therefore, the cost of, the cost 
per share is 11. 10,000 times 11 equals 110. Then, meron siyang gain. Mas malaki ang na-receive over dun sa cost. Credit gain on sale of in investment. 300 minus 110 equals 190,000 pesos na gain on sale investment. Ngayon, since nagkaroon na naman ng movement na investment in equity securities account, kailangan natin i-update yung ginagawa nating summary. Dito naman, instead na panagdag, pabawas. So, kay plastic, magdadagdag tayo ng, ah sorry, magbabawas tayo ng ng shares yun. 10,000 shares. So, bawasan natin ng 10,000 and yung cost which is 110. So, babawasan natin po ng 110. Therefore, and since na yan ay last transaction na, so, as of December 31, shares of plastic company shares na ay 56,000 then ang cost niya ay 670,000 pesos so tapos na tayo mag record ng journal entries therefore yung summary natin would be king at 700 plus tick 670 and makati 500,000 so total investment is 700 eto plus the 670 plus 500,000 equals 1 million 870,000 pesos. Okay, requirement letter B. Prepare a summary of the permanent investments of Negros company showing in detail the number of shares and total cost for each investment. Okay, gawin natin yung letter B, which is kukunin natin dito sa summary na ginawa natin. So, kukunin natin ito. Okay. Ito yung magiging sagot natin sa letter B. Nagawa lang tayo ng summary. Ayan, sum ah, summary. Okay. Nandito yung um, column ng investment. Nandito naman ang column ng number of shares and yung investment cost. Okay. Una, king. King company. Number of shares, 10,000. Total cost is 700,000. 700,000. Yeah. 700. Next, plastic. Uh, plastic company. Total shares niya ay 56,000. Ito yun, 56 total investment cost is 600 670,000 next uh, Makati Makati Corporation Makati Corporation 10,000 shares at 500,000 total 1,870,000 sa total cost and total number of shares is 76,000 shares. So, tapos na. Requirement A would be ito from journal entry ng January 1 hanggang December 15. Ito yun, requirement A. Then, requirement B would be ito. Ayan. 